Welcome everybody, Pastor Dave here. It is November 28th, 2011. Prophecy in the News with Pastor Dave. What's going on with Iran? We keep our eye on the Middle East, eye on Israel. Um, Iran to hit Turkey if nuclear program targeted by Israel, U.S. Uh, General says. Now, my personal opinion, I'm going to uh, bring you this story, is... Iran is playing a game of blind man's bluff with the United States and Israel. Blind man's bluff. But I want to touch on one thing real quick. Because everyone knows the story that came out. Uh, Pakistan, uh, NATO, uh, 28 Pakistani troops were killed. So Pakistan seals off the border for supplies. So now the troops cannot get their su supplies. Usually you've got to go to um, alternative news. To get the whole truth because mainstream media they like to uh, sweep things under the rug so to speak but I'm surprised that mainstream media covered this and brought the entire story about the supply lines uh, being shut off to the troops what's going on in Bible prophecy today and I'm calling I ran out it's a game of blind man's blood I ran to hit Turkey if nuclear program targeted by Israel, U.S. General says. I think Iran is just uh, putting out these threats, and they're not going to back that up. Believe me, why would they hit uh, uh, Turkey? Let me read this to you. And I'll put the link below. I always supply a link. I'll put the link in the description box for you uh, above the comment section. A senior commander of Iran's powerful Revolutionary Guard says the country will target NATO's missile defense shield in Turkey, if the United States or Israel attacks the Islamic Republic, why would they do that? Why would they go after? It's just a game of bluff. Why would they uh, target uh, Turkey's missile defense shield? Look at the missile defense shield they have. And what good would it do? Look what uh, Israel has. Look at their missile defense system. Do you think targeting Turkey would do any good? I know I won't pronounce the general's name, but General Amir Ali, I can't pronounce it, it's going to be in the description box. The head of the Guards Aerospace Division is quoted by the semi-official Amir News Agency as saying the warning is part of a new defense strategy to counter what it sees as an increase in threats from the United States and Israel. There's so much going on, I'm calling this uh, a bluff a bluff coming out of Iran, but we do have to worry. We've got United States warships uh, over there uh, heading towards Iran. We've got Iran now. They did come out and make a threat, as you know, but they, um, they're they taunting. They're taunting Israel to come on already with your airstrike so we can annihilate you and wipe you out of the history books. Assad, like Gaddafi, NATO is going to take him out, and it's going to spark a war. Because now we've got Russia uh, playing interference, and Russia now, I don't know if you're aware of this, has been arming Syria, has been arming Syria, and I believe, i got to find the article, there was a vote uh, by the Arab uh, nations, uh, they're, they're putting sanctions now on Assad in Syria. They want them to stop. They want Assad to step down. Russia is not going to let any harm come to Assad. So you see how everything is unfolding? That's what we got to watch. That's what's serious. Because Russia now, a nuclear power, is involved. And I'm not sure what's going on in the border of India and China. All the players are in place. And we talk about how, how long before everything just explodes. And I'm saying any day now. Any single day now. Look what's going on in the world today. More unexplained fish deaths. So much news, I don't have enough time in the day to bring you more fish deaths today. Uh, these strange winds are just howling and wreaking havoc across the globe. The entire globe. We're very close. We're very close. 
what we need to worry about, keep our eye on Israel, because anytime, anytime, uh, we're going to no longer hear the drums of war. It's going to be a full blown war. And we have Russia involved. That's something. Read your scriptures. We are wondering where does Russia play a part in this as we look at Bible prophecy? Because they weren't in the picture. Now they are. Now they are. And kind of, um, you can predict by watching what is unfolding. Mainstream media news, alternative news, I like the best. I try to stay away from mainstream media news. They did come out. They didn't sweep anything under the rug with the incident where the uh, supply line, they closed the border. Pakistan did. So no supplies can get to the troops. Assad, you don't have to have the gift of prophecy. You know. You knew Gaddafi was not going to go peacefully. Someone like that, someone like Assad, will never surrender peacefully and go on trial. No one wants a trial. No one wants a trial. You, as long as you have a 12th grade education, you don't have to be a prophet. You know no one wants a trial. Um, Gaddafi was never going to be uh, taken to trial. We knew he was going to be assassinated. Just as, what's going to happen with Assad? Do I have the gift of prophecy? Not at all. Not at all. But this is going to trigger. Uh, it's going to trigger what uh, an event like you've never seen because we've got nuclear powers involved now. And Israel is going to strike. And I believe it's going to be any, any tick of the clock. But the latest uh, story that I'm bringing you, where Iran is threatening Turkey to take out their, uh, their missile defense uh, shield. It's a blind, game of blind man's bluff. Um, they would take out Israel's iron defense system if they were going to do anything but I don't think Iran's going to make the first move in this game of chess I think United States and Iran is NATO the United States is going to hide behind NATO NATO's going to take out Assad and it's all happening it's all happening right now uh, how many weeks do we have until January 1st this is the most exciting time most exciting time as we watch for the rapture of the church. Leave me comments. I, I'm calling Game of Bluff on Iran taking out a um, missile defense system in Turkey. It's just a just a threat. Just a threat. But they need to be careful because talk about a game of chicken. They're playing a game of chicken. Only Israel's not playing. Neither is our Heavenly Father. God bless everyone. Leave me comments.